All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan, and I uh, woke up at four to fifteen a.m. this morning. Wasn't able to go back to sleep since then. So just read more of the Infinite Game Book. Lying in my bed. I actually have a decent amount of energy. I don't even feel groggy. So I think I figured out what the problem is. Uh, those Entman cookies. I only had two yesterday, so it was it was even less. So it's like. 140 divided by 3, so, because the serving size is 150 calories, it's not 140, it's 150 calories for 3 cookies. I had 2, so I only had 100 calories. And that seems to have spiked everything, so I just threw in the, I, mean, I hated to throw it away, especially since they're so good, but, you know, it's like, I kind of need my sleep. So now I'm feeling a little bit sick, but I think it might just still be the same germ, so as long as I get a good night's sleep. I'll probably be taking a lot of naps, even though I don't feel tired, just to make sure that my body doesn't go too crazy. And I'll probably definitely under-eat today, too. Um, and then just simply starve, just to keep the inflammation low. But, uh, yeah, it's just, it's just so hot. It's just so hot. It's like, ugh, where's all this energy coming from? And it's like, huh. Well, at any rate, uh, big, big stuff happening today, at least uh, markets-wise. So, um yeah, in fact, um, I am actually kind of considering the possibility that this number is actually fake, All right? Because, uh, but if it's not, because I mean, Trump obviously already is going ham on it, and the predicted markets are actually up a lot now. So Trump was down as low as ten percent with no end in sight. So Trump's like, I think God's finally giving Trump a fucking helping hand here, you know? Because like. Yeah, as much as we're annoyed with Trump, as much as God's probably annoyed with us, or at least with Trump, he's like, yeah, you know what, we, I know what's going to happen if the Joe Biden wins. It's like, you know, I like Joe Biden, but, you know, you, you know the Democrat Party's full of a lot of bad, evil people, and it's going to cause problems. So I better try to help Trump out with something. Hopefully Trump will take it. So we'll see, we'll see. Um, I, mean, I, I was going to go into this later, but yeah, basically, and of course all his tweets are literally just about this. I actually want to watch the news conference because I, because now that I know, now that I'm reading more of the Infinite Game book, because I haven't programmed anything in my game, so I think I should try to do something. In fact, I can't remember, did I even, um, let me actually pull it up in the background. But uh, basically, I want to see, is Trump actually figuring out that he cannot be praising cops, because everybody hates the cops right now, and even a lot of conservatives. And number two, people want to be heard and like, you know, hey, can we have a president that actually sounds like he gives a shit about us? Right? I mean, empathy has always been a problem for Trump, especially with conservatives. So, and that's why I also spent some time lying on my bed thinking about, too. Uh, 15 F1. Uh, let me see. TDK Tower Editor. Let's see. Oh, yeah, so I have to finish the laser tower tree. Okay. All right, good enough, good enough. Um, so let's see. This is Chrome. I'll open this up for later so we can talk about it. But yeah, uh, we'll have to see. I mean, I'm, uh, I mean, obviously this is good, you know. It's uh, so now the gap's finally closing. I mean, it's still a big gap, but at least you know Trump is, you know, he's finally put a tourniquet on like his his shit, right? And I'm not even getting that much pushback on my notification, except one boomer idiot. But you know, of course, there's always just the assholes that always fucking are just like blind or boomers and like these fucking like anonymous accounts and it's like so frustrating like people just don't like hearing the truth they're like no we can't lose uh the house is on fire i'm telling you that we have to put the fire out the house is on fire I, I i can't i can't i hate people that are in denial i hate people that like to lie excessively at least and then like it's like dude the house is on fire you know it's like okay here's the reality i have you have stage four cancer i don't have cancer it's like what do you do with what do you do with that all right so first and foremost crypto searches are up to 13. i mean it's the end of the week so not much happening uh bitcoin's back down to 9700 for like 0. 0.4722 so basically it looks like the same as yesterday i don't even think we need to even go over these numbers yeah same uh i did buy a bunch of hive token in fact uh, it's high because hive is actually down like their main site let me see is it back up yet 
Or is high sign or so like what is wrong with their fucking site? You're in control. You should eat on me. Alright, looks like the website seems to be working, but my dlease.io is not working. Let's see. Uh let me actually because this is actually pretty important, so let me sign out, sign back in. Log in. Unexpected errors here, please try again later. Well, luckily I don't have to. Oh, my god. Alright. What is wrong with their fucking website? I mean, this is one of the reasons why people don't want to use cryptocurrency right now, because there's a lot of... Yeah, Ugh, great. Now I'm signed out. I can't, can't even access... Um... Now, what was the uh, blockchain for Hive? Let's see. Hive Signer... Oh my god, their shit is still... Developer settings, apps... Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, their Hive Signer site is still down. Okay, peak D.F. Maybe that's the one I'm looking for. Nope. Um, of course. Okay, visit peak D.com. That's what I'm looking for. All right. Let's see. And am I still getting the error? Okay. All right, I'm able to sign into my peak D, so I'm gonna uh, put that open in my background. Cause I just want to check to make sure there's nothing. Wrong. Oh yeah, my coins are probably fine. Uh, yeah, everything's fine. There's just something wrong with the Hive Signer site. I guess they'll fix it. Ah, there's a crypto called Wax. Funny. Hive is at twenty-six point twenty-six cents. Steam is at twenty point eighty-six cents. So yeah, they're uh, you know they're neck and neck, but otherwise not too much uh, different. All right, so markets are up significantly. Like we're talking bull run. Like this is definitely bull run stuff. Uh, everything's just up. Shocking. Everything. Yeah. Right? Like that's why the first thing I'm thinking is: Are these numbers fake? Um, especially after the shutdown. So I, I don't know. Like we're definitely have to take a look. I mean, I hope they're not fake. Uh, I'm sure Democrats might try to say they're all fake. He's just trying to whatever. Oh my god. Look at you. Look at, can I pick the stocks? Can I, or can I pick the fucking stocks, my friends? All right. Well, it looks like my stock market account will be worth 115 grand before uh, before Christmas. Uh, I mean, obviously that's not going to happen, but you know, actually it could actually. Uh, this is, I mean, like, how quickly can Credit Suzy Remo go back to $27 or $29 a share, whatever it was, before coronavirus hit? Yeah, it was worth 28 to 27, 28, 33 at the peak, or 27, 27 to 28.33, 28.50, you know, just keep it nice and round. Yeah, look at that, just, just big time money, big time money, region financials basically already back on its feet, yep, making a lot of money, and uh, leave I actually want to keep track of this stock, because um, I actually want to buy SpaceX and Tesla, but this guy is like a copycat of SpaceX, and they're, and, uh, they're already competing against Tesla for uh, uh, electric semi-trucks and all this other hybrid electricity shit it's actually really cool um, i don't want to read the uh, oh yeah nicola corporation so yeah because elon musk already took tesla so you know nicola tesla so this guy just took the first name nicola corp so this one's cheaper now the thing is i still uh he sounds like he might have the infinite mindset if he has the infinite mindset i'm definitely going to want to buy this stock when i have extra cash even though it's going to be this is normally much more expensive but that this is a very long-term play like t at least 10 years out because i'm thinking about uh i don't want to sound like a global warming f word but yeah i'm thinking about you know you know climate change shit, uh you know just, just alternative energy sources, because it, because even if you don't believe in climate change, it is annoying to breathe in all that pollutant shit. And I don't like it either, right? So people are just naturally gonna want cleaner air, because what else are you gonna? Because as as our society and world actually improves over time, we're not, we're gonna have very, we're gonna, and we're gonna get replaced by robots and AI. We're gonna have less things to be worried about. So we'll just bitch about all sorts of stupid things. So that's why I want to invest in something like that. But I ultimately want to invest in space. That's really what I want. So I don't know. I, I, I'm just going to keep, I only found about this this morning. So I'm going to keep my eye on this and then just leave it in the, you know, back of the toolbox.
Um, race heats up as more states reopen. That's good. Uh, what major? Why Wall Street on the uh, why we're by investment property in 2020? Well, that's easy. The cities. Uh, DOG subpoenas four biggest meat packers and antitrust pro. Good. Uh, and I don't buy Tyson anyway, so it's even better. Dow Jones said, I open a show mind blowing 2.5. Ah, fuck market watch. Uh, upsize US IPO. Three Chinese stocks went up. Don't care, don't care. All right, so it looks like coronavirus vaccine, Moderna points former Amgen executive. Uh, yeah. uh, all right, very good, very good, very good. Um, yeah, I really have to. Uh, Thank the uh, Hinjo, the Hinjo, the Hinjo guy from YouTube that told me about the Remmel stock after, after we all got completely ass raped by Remmel, right? No, not Remmel, uh, M R L. So uh, yeah. yeah, Microsoft back to it. Yeah, but Microsoft's always been strong. All right, so very good. Like, uh, that's a, that's a big that's big money, man. Sixty two cents a share. I kind of want to lie in my stock market just to see uh, what my accounts were. I, I, if I had to guess, it's probably worth forty grand now. So I'm, I'm I'm making up good ground. I'm making up good ground. I put I put in seven thousand, I think, seventy five hundred dollars in the stock market during coronavirus when the markets were tanking like crazy. I was starting to get a little nervous, right? Because you know, I remember when Rebel was like, oh, it's dollar fifty. Things continue to get worse. Oh man. But uh, yeah. Well, you know, uh, the infinite game, right? You, you just got to keep playing the game because eventually you will win, just like you'll eventually lose, right? We just went through a loss. Now it's time to win. And I should know that because, you know, I did the same thing with crypto. All right, Crux is having a hiccup. All right, so four force back online, so we'll talk about that. Not much to talk about. JMC's at seven to eight or nine, you know, usual, usual. Uh, two by two coins actually doing really well. I don't know why this page is lagging. Uh, but it's up to 81, as high as 83. Almost about, I mean, the trade volume is just a, a fantastic. <sighs> ah, excuse me. So, doing very well. And if 2x2 two two is doing this well, with, despite its current max supply, that means 4 4 coin is going to be doing even better. Now, obviously, it just got listed this morning. I got the emails. Uh, there was some technical glitches with it uh, because it was still using the old rule set when it was old 4-4. Four four. Uh, but the minimum is one Satoshi of a Bitcoin. I guess this displayer cannot be removed. Uh, but it's not going to be approaching that for a long time anyway. Um, <clears throat> so right now it's doing price discovery. So it could be anywhere from 310 Satoshis up to 600. I honestly don't know what the real price is. I just know it's going to be a lot of money. So um, yeah. Uh, yeah. And see, again, like I know what I'm doing. Right, just pe like people like this is why I don't want people trading coins. Like you should not be day trading this shit. If you are, you should be doing it so that you have the intention of holding your coins forever and then growing your stack. And then, like I said, my investor fundamental video. You know, you reinvest, you pull out a little, you reinvest even more, and you pull out a little, and you keep doing that until eventually your cash flow is so large that there's no point in you putting in any more money because the cash flow is too strong. And that's what you want. You want your money working hard, not you. Uh, and people still don't. Uh, I, I mean, I think people get it. So I hope so. Uh, but anyway, uh, oh, also Mitch told me that almost 100% of all 4-4 coins got swapped, which is shocking. But that's also great because that basically means despite all its problems, everybody was all in on 404. Well, no, not all in, but like willing to stick it out and that's exactly the mindset you have to have and that's exactly the kind of person i want all right because you know i was already prepared for joe biden to be president right and i still technically am all right because i understand it's the infinite game you know life goes on uh but you know it, it, our lives will be significantly more easy if trump wins re-election all right because the problem is you know Joe Biden, I actually, I actually don't have a problem with Joe Biden. He actually seems like a nice guy. He's actually pretty cool. He knows. I mean, the pro, I mean aside from the, you know, senility pro, problem, he's, he's just uh, too old. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't. I actually see him going. You know what, Democrats, you guys are hitting the conservatives too hard. I'm going to override you. Like, I can actually see him doing that. Uh, but um, you know, right now the conservatives are kind of still in disarray. So. They need a little more time to recover. 
And I tell you, I'm still trying to figure out like when this is all over, whether Trump leaves this year or in 2025. Um, you know, empathy is going to be a real problem, right? Conservatives and Republicans still don't get it. So I have to figure out how I'm going to solve Because I'm the only one that seems to be willing and able and knows to solve it. Everyone else is just being a fucking uh, callous asshole, right? I only pretend to be a callous asshole, all right? Uh, but anyway, uh, I've been reading the Infinite Game book, and it basically is talking about all the stuff that I intuitively always knew. So now I understand why I should be where I should be. And I can have so much more. And I'm going to get it. Right? And all of you get to come along for the ride, too, if you're smart enough to tag along. But yeah, I mean, 404 coin, new 404 coins, more or less up and running. Um, I think the 404 block is still propagating, though. Let me see. Because uh, I changed it this morning. Yeah, it's still on the old... Uh, yeah, it's going to take a while for this thing to propagate. So, I don't know. I'm going to have to check. I mean, I might have... I'll probably check in a few days. So, we'll see. Uh, two by two. Uh, we already talked about that. 78 to 81. Look at those massive buy orders, especially when that's 75. I mean, right now, we're, we're doing rock solid. Like, couldn't ask for much more. Compound coin is 4,800 to 5550. Satoshi's of a dog coin, so it's doing pretty stable as well. So all across the board, we're getting better financially. The market, equity market, getting better, and I think the reason why crypto is down is because everyone's jumping in now. Because this is this was completely out of like nowhere. It's like bottom of the ninth, two strikes out. No, two outs, two strikes. Last guy up at bat, and the guy and bases are loaded, and if you lose, that you lose the game. But the guy hits a home run, and then, like, you, you fucking win. <laughs> like, this is essentially what's happened. So there's going to be a lot of chaos, uh, which is fine. You know, crypto can have its... I mean, we've waited years for this. We can wait a, We can wait another six to nine months if we need to. But it's going to happen, because all this money that's flowing in the stock market, it's going to have to flow back out eventually. So that's how the cycle always goes. Uh, nothing to do on my YouTube. Uh... Yeah, I already refreshed this. Um, 20K this year. I mean, 20K is doable, but I don't know. It's uh, it's going to be... The coin rise is spurred by... Go oh, probably just government printing. Yeah, we already know nothing here. Financial failure, Bitcoin adoption. Wait. Fidelity reveals Bitcoin crypto adoption among each year on the rise. This was today. I mean, this has always been rising, but let's see if they have specific numbers. Uh, breakout to and we'll begin on this date. Uh, so Jeff, it's time to break up Amazon. Ooh, Elon Musk is going after uh, the big cojones, huh? Of course. Uh, this is why I might actually make this because I believe we're not actually like both people, but Jeff is kind of more like an asshole. Uh, so maybe more like I very strongly respect Jeff Bezos as the IQ, I and mean, he does have good empathy too. But I mean, like I just don't understand. He treats his he seems to treat his employees like fucking assholes. Like I don't I don't like that in people, especially if you're rich and successful and your people made you. It's like you know, can at least try to treat them nicer. Uh, avoids Google Crow joins fifteen you know, using Brave. Um, yeah, that, that's right. I mean, Brave is a really good browser. Uh, and this is good, because that means the VPN that I'm using now, Tunnel Bear, maybe they'll actually come out with Brave, and then we can switch back to Brave, because I fucking hate Firefox. I hate this shit. Like, you, you hear me constantly complaining about it, but, you know, I can't use it on Chrome, because that's my private browser, so that's where all I am on my login and personal shit. So I can't stream that. I can't use Brave, because I don't want... Because if I forget to change something, like I hit the Crex page, right, every day, it's going to show my IP address. It's not a problem for me now, but, you know, when I move to, like, you know, Tampa, where there's actually less people, that could be a problem. Like, you can actually find out where I fucking live. So it's like, that's that's not good. Especially now all the crazy cops going crazy shit, you know. It's like, I don't, I don't want, I don't want to, you know, I got to avoid that stuff, man. So, yeah. Joe Rogan avoids the uh, Swiss banks as goes to about Bitcoin or crypto power is coming. Well, that is true. I don't care what we're going. Yeah, but Goldman Sachs is in it for the forever, so it's not a problem for them. I mean, to them, it's just a game. So, 
Refresh the last time. Uh, he's probably giving his speech or press conference right now, right? Uh, 53 to 46. Okay, 50. All right. So he's gained 3%. He's still down 7%, but he's got a long way to go. Uh, I don't see a press conference yet. He'll probably, he, I mean, he should be retweeting at some point. Um, there we already went over that. Uh, the real is okay. All right, so we're going to end it on the Elon Musk thing. Uh, financial time Fidelity reveals Bitcoin crypto adoption. Okay, da, 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 da. Um, Fidelity manages seven trillion. Or this year, I could do a Brian Successful so relationship sure held that four in ten institutions are willing to invest in digital assets over the next five years. Over the uh, at time, seventy-two percent prefer buying investment products that hold digital assets. Fifty-seven percent prefer. Yeah, but this is in comparison to what? God, this was a waste of time. Uh, all right, but I mean, yeah, more rich people getting in, but this thing is light on details. May John, U.S. can't expand ads. All right, so what the hell happened? Should I have an unexpected rise in number of non far parallel and a drop in the offer from April? Averting my account could be a rise in jobless rate to a highest low since Great Depression. Labor time rise of job. Remember, not everybody was shut down, like especially conservative areas or Republican areas. So. Here were the main results of the report compared blue market census data change in non farm payrolls versus wow, there was a ten million dollar there was a ten million job gap. At tw minus twenty million. Holy shit, we're talking ten to twenty million. Unemployment rate thirteen point three percent versus nineteen percent expected and fourteen point seven percent April. Wow, this was actually a lot lower for April. Rough hearing twenty to forty percent. Average hourly, hourly earnings month to month minus one percent versus plus one percent expected and four per, plus four percent April. Okay. Average hourly earnings on year year six point one D D Labor Tower surveys captured a period including the twelfth of the month, May the meaning the May report included the very rise of reopening some parts of America amid the coronavirus. Da, da, da. Total not had increased by two or fucking hell. Limited resumption again that has been curtailed. To, yeah, because everything's actually fine. It's just that the piece of shit Democrats were deliberately tanking the economy to fuck Trump over and all of us over. Uh, so far, it's actually working, but maybe this might be the light at the end of the tunnel. Education at a 424k payrolls in May after shredding. Blah, 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 with the services, the goods producing sector also had a job. Blah, 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 blah. The only thing I don't like about this is now I'm going to hear Trump constantly fucking brag about the fucking stock market. I, uh, it's so irritating. Uh, but, I mean, whatever. I mean, he'll, he'll take whatever win he can get, right? The goods producing sector outside a job, the rising sector. Because basically what will happen... Oh, yeah, I was supposed to get to this, and now we're up to that point. So what will happen is if these numbers are true, so, or kind of true, and they continue to improve... That as everybody goes back to work and things go back to normal, people are going to get much more annoyed with the rioters and protesters and all this. Because right now, the ball is in the left wing court. But now it's shifting back to the right, as it should. So when normal when normies, including other Democrats, who are already 48% in favor of bringing in the military to quell the protests and riots... They're going to get even more annoyed, and they're just going to be like, okay, you know what? These protesters just seem like attention-seeking F-words. Like, just just stop. Just stop, right? Because at that point, they're not hurting conservatives. They're actually hurting other liberals. And you know how liberals get when other people take their shit. They just get more annoyed, right? You know, do as I say, not as I do. So all of that is just going to be like, oh, yeah, it's like, can we stop the protests? So, and then Trump will just simply say, hey, I'm trying to help people, but look at the Democrats screwing you over. They're the assholes, not me. You know, I, I've stopped being an asshole. I'm, I'm, I'm helping you, I'm helping you, you know, get your life back in order. But the Democrats are preventing that. You know, it's going to be really hard for the Democrats to come back from something like that. Because it's fundamentally true. Right now, the truth is on the Democrat side, but it's now starting to hopefully shift in Trump's direction. So assuming he doesn't botch this like he usually does, you know, we'll, we'll have to see. That's why he's only. That's why he's still down seven percent. All right, so we'll see. Uh, I don't want to look at these numbers. I mean, yeah, we know that's all great. Uh, Friday, general next rate improvement in the unemployment rate. I have to admit, this is really shocking. The unemployment rate improved a lot. That's why I'm already feeling like, how manipulated is this data? 
Okay, still for Siri Clear really really because because if I were to do the pen earlier for the down player would have been about three percent higher when that was actually reported. Oh, okay. So they're taught this so they're saying it should be three percent higher as it came out. The last one survey reader were short cloud employed person after work due to current business, so employed on temporary layoff. Ah, so they weren't fired, but they were still considered unemployed. Okay, all right, apparently that also works. So classify CL, BLS, that's the Bureau of Labor Statistics and the Census Bureau investigating why it's going to occur, continues to occur, and are taking a show study to address the issue. So even the fucking assholes here are trying to get in on screwing Trump over. Uh, maybe, do, 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 do. I mean, it's hard because you're laid off, but you're not laid off. So technically you're not unemployed, you're underemployed. That's the correct term they should be using. So again, they're just trying to fuck Trump over with the words. Uh, yeah, it may or may not work. Uh, it definitely has a very big chance of working, yeah. So I'd put just at 50. See what the idiots and retards in Yahoo Finance comments are saying. Well, it might be near that uh, you and the volume on it, man, it'll still be better. Yeah, how it looks like we're going to time will tell. Well, it's just it's okay with me. I'm probably calling back with this. Most of the realize the regime will continue. Yeah, this is, the most re this is actually the most reasonable thing. I mean, I, I, I mean, I knew things were reopening, but because the media, obviously fake news terrorists, me are covering riots and chaos and all that shit, they're not talking about anything about the reopening. I assume that's Mitch. Uh, uh, uh. Fuck, I accidentally hit proof. I don't know why people are so surprised. Oh, I read that. Why was this on exciting? So he's coming along to be allowed to go back. Yeah, I'm actually surprised. There's actually a lot of rational, correct comments here for once. I don't know why he's saying, I'm going to be the same. told the player, so they did. Now they're going to go plus felon. It's a Christmas miracle. It's great news. Yeah. Not sure how much you're in power. What do we could pay for this Oh, my sister, they are restaurant, and she says you get to come back to work because they're probably making too much free what? What? Uh, uh, this this guy's full of shit. No one's getting free money. You only got twelve hundred dollars one time, dumbass. Yeah, correctly. This actually has a lot of downvotes. I would downvote this too because I know he's full of shit. No, I'm not sure about. Yeah, like I can definitely tell it's a liberal bot trying to hurt Trump. And it's it's very bad. Like this is so, just, just so stupid. They went, they went a little too far. What do you mean constant free money? Like, it's a one-time check, dumbass. With automation, temporary job to become permanent companies for your own That is true. Yeah, surprisingly, uh, people are actually showing some... This is actually surprising. Com the Yahoo comments are actually pretty good today. Hey, there's hope for us after all. Hey, that's a Monopoly Manhattan. Uh, oh yeah, when I play Hades Star, I can rename my ships one time. I, 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 I'm gonna read. I renamed all my transports like the names of uh, famous archaeologists or thieves because they always take artifacts from a plant before it blows up. So, uh, so and then my miners, which is the workhorse of your economy. Like without them, you actually cannot play the game. So they're your fundamental economic unit. So I actually named them after uh, rich people. I got J.P. Morgan, John Rockefeller, and Andrew Carnegie. The next, if I build an R minor, uh, I'm going to name him Uncle Pennybags because that's the name of the Monopoly man. But Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos are pretty good too. But the thing is, that's already, I, I don't need that many miners. All right, let's get to the big cheese, the big cojones. Elon Musk calling out evil Jeff Bezos. Tech entrepreneur Elon Musk, founder of all these people. He found, oh, he founded the Boring Company. I thought he founded Boeing. I was like, holy shit, he founded Boeing too. Another man that says the time is kind of break up Amazon. You know, tweet on Thursday. Uh, yes. Oh, uh, yeah. See, this is why I fucking love See, Elon Musk, he made it, but he's actually a good man. He's a good person. He was the only rich fucking person to actually say, this lockdown is wrong. People should take the risk if they want to, and we need to reopen our economy. Everybody else, especially Jeff Bezos and all these other billionaire shills, they were like, we gotta lock everything down. We gotta do what Bill Gates says and just tag everyone and track and blah, blah, blah. Uh, 
let's see. Nothing of her ten years old, complete any fight today, but that was flower and yes. Always oh, incredible. Um is that the real thing? Lift off June there. Oh, we we launched another thing off Twitter for a while. Yeah, I mean, I kind of yeah, he, that was June first. Yeah, I kind of wanted to do the same thing. Where is? Because the tweet is valid. Where did it go? Because he didn't delete it. This was tw oh was this oh this was a reply I think. I can't believe it. They censored it. Alert her. Alex. Form near to uh, tell your children. Uh, well, this guy's actually got a pretty uh, large following. 123. And he used to work for the New York Times. So I'm guessing this guy is kind of left-leaning. That's what I'm assuming. But he may not be. So they censored it. This is in what did they censor? Oh, they censored the coronavirus book. This is insane. Sign brand monopolies are wrong. The reason why I'm not retweeting is because he didn't even respond to my message. So I mean, if, you know, I mean, I mean, I think I think Mike's already figured out that we're going to be butting heads eventually. Like we're not hostile, but I mean, I've signed with Nick Fuentes and the group we're up running because I actually give a shit about America. I don't care about. I mean, I care about money, but it's not my important thing. You know, Mike, he, he's always been behind the ball. Like I, I don't know what happened after Trump got elected, but I mean, he's just. I mean, I guess maybe it got to him. I mean, he has a family, or maybe he's just, I don't know, something happened to him. And of course, he's uh, friendly with the fake rights. You know, I don't, I don't want to mention their names in here because I don't give them any more attention. I mean, I, I, it wouldn't matter for me now, but it may matter later. And they're going to be butting heads with Nick Fuentes and Groypers, all right? Because again, what's going to happen when they, you know, go after Israel? What happens if they go after, you know, immigration? Like, truly go after it, all right? What happens when they start? Pointing out, like, you know, yeah, yeah, white people are being discriminated against uh, in large numbers. Yeah, it's it's going to cause a lot of problems. It's going to cause a lot of problems. Uh, but wow, uh, yes, I did. So yeah, Elon Musk is a totally awesome guy. Plus, he also has an incentive to knock down Amazon a big because basically they're competitors too. But I'm okay with it. Elon's cool. Jeff is always he's already proven himself to be a censorious piece of shit f word. So. I mean, in fact, you go on Twitch and just say you believe in two genders, they immediately ban you forever. No, no, no recourse. Like, so fuck, so fuck Jeff Bezos and Amazon. Even though I actually like the company and I like Jeff, his behavior, his sense, his censorious behavior is just evil. So, you know, as soon as it, if there was an alter, a very viable alternative, yeah, I would use it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even use Amazon or whatever anymore. But you, but I can't, all right, because like Elon Musk said, it's a fucking monopoly. But as they're putting an end to its reign with Harley Beasy as March 23 delivers blah 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 blah. Partially that you because of, yeah, the, Amazon is like I read the Everything Store book, all right, about Jeff Bezos. He literally has everything. He does everything. So, you know, he has the true infinite mindset. We just happen to not like it. Yeah, so uh, I would probably my work. Uh, is maybe even a pain ass to say, I have something like I'm here. Look at that. I'm very easy to hear. I call it Piro Pia. Uh, Twitter, hold on, I gotta read this. Oh my god, what is the... I don't know what, she, what he's talking about. I'm not doing shit. And uh, the number of active AWS users top 1 million back in 2016 and January, 35 billion sales in 2019. According to the report by Contino, AWS powers the website some of the biggest names on the internet. Partial list of AWS users. Um, actually, hold on. I got because I'm talking to Mitch right now. And he really, I don't know why he has this obsession with this particular person. Yeah, no replies. Like, I'm not fucking.
do. There's been three tweets on the two. But yes. No marketing can overcome fundamental math. And I won't have the game use case out for a while either. I don't know why you keep. Nice, but <sighs> partial list of AWS users. Oh, okay. Okay, for AI uh, powers what's less than the biggest news on the internet. Oh man. Oh wow, they even powered by do. I mean eventually um the servers I get. Well actually I'm gonna be I'm gonna be going a hosting or they do Google Cloud. But I think even Google Cloud uses it. actually I don't know, does Google Cloud utilize AWS? Yeah, I don't see Google listed here. Yeah, so they have their own thing. BBC, Coinbase, ESPN, Expedia, Facebook, General Electric. My God, they do a lot of shit. Turner Broadcasting, so that's CNN. Twitch, Twitter. So even Twitter runs on AWS. And of course, the USDA Food Department. And the US Department of State as well. Fake getting up out of a car politician act with slow churning off and crippling wearing wheel upon or reduce the smell that trying to regulate spin it. Yeah, I mean the problem is Amazon is doing what the establishment wants mostly, so it's not gonna happen. So you know all I have near choice again address my every growth, which has now pushed into food production and all this other shit. We have a lot of some about Wapolo Dines earlier and despite regulatory probably that is not currently those but the federal FTC. Yeah, the the FTC and FC, like all of our fucking regulatory agencies are fucking worthless and pathetic. They're just they're just as bad as like the Mitch McCuckles in the Republican Party. So yeah. Uh there you go bold. Politics is two point five million is trending. Very good. Elon Musk sends a message, yeah, it's trying to break up Amazon. Yes, yeah, so this is a pretty good thumbnail. So for the most part, things are looking good. Uh, I'm going to do one more time. I want to see, is he... Uh, I want to watch his press conference. All right, nothing on the press conference. So if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or on my YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash JMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page, and uh, yeah, let's uh, try to go on this channel because again, we're in for the long haul. Oh, now I'm starting to get a little groggy, but I have way too much energy, it's way too hot to sleep. Ugh. Anyway, uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend. All right, I'll see you all on Monday, unless of course something major happens. But after a week of chaos, I'm glad it's the weekend. I just, <sighs> what's nice is. Nick Fuentes was taking a vacation this week, so it's like, I really want to hear his thoughts this week. I also want to see more of his character on display, because now that I'm halfway through the Infinite Game book, the Simon Sinek book, um, yeah, now I have an additional tool, or I'm about to develop an additional tool to really see through a person, and I can now figure out, oh, okay, is this going to be a problem or not, right? You know, Because right now, empathy is a very big problem. It's always been a problem. And it's what's going to make or break all of us. You know, liberals, they're much better at it. But the problem is they're not perfect at it, um, which is why conservatives, you know, occasionally can still win, right? So it's this endless tug of war that I'm just starting to get sick and tired of it. So, uh, but we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, I'll see you all on Monday. Uh... And, uh, yeah, I don't know, maybe I might consider taking Monday off as well. Yeah, I could use three days off, believe it or not. So, Monday or Tuesday, but, you know, if you don't see anything on Monday, then I'll definitely see you on Tuesday. Unless, of course, something super major happens, right? So, anyway, we'll give, we'll give Trump time to close this gap and see what happens. But so far, so good for him, but, you know, we'll see. But, uh, yeah, you know, um... Oh, that's the Twitter. But yeah, Elon Musk. Actually, you know what? We're going to go to Elon Musk's Twitter instead.
Even though I really do like that thumbnail. Uh, oh, but that's giving him, uh, you know, all right. Yeah, I guess we'll, uh, we'll, 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 we'll do this one. All right, see you all on Monday or Tuesday. Thanks. Johnson Chan, JMC Coin, 404 Coin, and here we go.